to another video today we got another how-to for y'all and it's gonna be a how-to shorten or make your bike chain longer uh, I got one in particular person that requested for this video so we're doing it for you bro and I'm not gonna say his name or anything because I don't know if he wants to be mentioned but that person will know why this video is being made so the first thing you gonna want to do oh and just to let y'all know I'm not gonna actually take my chain off because it's perfectly good, but the way I'm gonna show y'all is the exact same thing, and then all you gotta do is whenever you do it, just think about you don't got a chain, obviously. So, take your chain, this one's gonna be a little bit shorter than what we would need, but when you buy one, it's gonna be longer, of course. So, you gotta go in between your, um, right here with your bottom, well that's the top of the frame, sorry, we're upside down. And then you would wrap it around the sprocket like how it would go. Here, to do that just to get us a little more slack so I can show y'all. And then, see, we would need to add one for this part. But I'm going to show y'all mainly how to add, uh, make it shorter. So then you would do that, and you see that's missing one perfectly. So then you would just get another one and put it in the way I'm going to show y'all soon. But if it's too long... Say, say you got it on there and it's all the way around everything and it does like this and laps over. So then you want to get them perfectly right with the, uh, with the little pin on the inside. And then you would see that you wouldn't need this. So you would take that pin out, try to keep it on there like that. Because once you take it all the way off, it's super hard to get started again. And then you would hit this pin out, which would knock this, this part of the chain off. And then you would put this back together like that and hit it on and back in. And we're going to show you all that in just a second. All right. So I did forget to mention one part in the when I was showing you all on the bike. After you find what place that you want to break your chain, you also have to make sure that it's in the, the right spot. You see how these links, this link goes on to the inside of this bigger link. And then the, the other link is on the outside and then comes to the outside of this one. And then the inside links go to this one. So if you see how that links together, you have to make sure you break it on the, on the right part where it can just go together like that. You see how we have a bigger side that's sliding over a littler side? You have to make sure you look and break it at the right spot. Because see, if we took this link out where it was just looking like this and tried to put it together. That's two bigger links on the outside, so it won't work. So you have to make sure you break one on the inside, the inner piece, the little side, and one on the outer piece, the bigger side. And then it'll slip right in like that, and then you can uh, put it back together, which I'm going to get to showing you how to do in just a second. And all you need is a chain breaker. You can pretty much get these at any anywhere. They're about $10, just about anywhere. Now, they do have some little bit more fancy ones that cost a little more, but you don't need no fancy one. You're just knocking a thing out of a, a chain. But just to, let you, just to show y'all a little way if you don't have one of these. Now, I used to do this uh, before I got one, too, when I was a lot younger. Just, you got to do what you got to do if you don't have the right thing. So you take just a nut. It'd be best to use a little bit bigger nut that's like a little bit taller. But uh, just to show y'all this little thing, and says this will work. And then you need a punch. Now, you ought, you need a punch that has a little bit, you know, skinnier head on it. But like I said, I'm just trying to show y'all a little way, another way before I show y'all the way with the chain breaker. But then you would just put your little pin right here over the hole on the nut. And then you take your punch. And put your punch on top of that pin right there and take a hammer and just hit it hit it through it takes a bunch of hits and you got to be careful and it's kind of aggravating but if you don't have one of these it does it is a way so but we're doing the chain breaker way so i'm gonna show y'all how to do that so like i was saying with these oh twist it how this goes in like that let's get it back like this how i had it for y'all how this goes in like that, we need to, uh, we would need to break this one or this one. See how that works? So the way you break it is you take your chain breaker 
and you put it on there on whatever link you want to break and we're going to break the one that has the, the bigger piece going on the inside so we can lock that one back on so once you got it in there you make sure that your uh, make sure you all can see you make sure that your chain breaker uh needle thing whatever you want to call it is lined up with the pin on the chain and then all you got to do is just tighten it up just keep tightening it gets a little bit hard but it's gonna work and you want to make sure you don't push it all the way out because then it's it's a problem so let's see let's see how that does then you want to undo it take it out get your chain back and we'll see if you got to go any more or if you got to or if you did it enough and it's stuck oh let's see And we actually need a little bit more, so we're gonna put it back on the chain breaker. Don't fit too well after that thing is already out, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, look, see they got two things on this one too for when you have that problem. So we're gonna undo it a little bit more. Put it right there. Get it ready and tighten it back up all you got to do is make sure that inner pin is going and hitting that other pin then that should be enough hope it's enough Okay, well, I got to do it a little bit more. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You just got to screw it in a little bit more. Um, I'm going to get back to y'all when I have it off. So we back. We actually we was able to get it off. Um, the problem was, was this little thing in here somehow was bent out more. So it wasn't coming out all the way. I really don't know how that happened. But if you have that problem, you just got to get the pin out more so you can get it back into the thing into the uh chain breaker because that was my problem i had this pin sticking out and you got to get it into the chain break so it has somewhere to go but with that thing being in there i couldn't get it to go down so i had to scoot it over and just do my best to get it out i thought i was going to break it when i did it on last cam on the camera before the cut and um it didn't so that worked out but that's how y'all get it out and the way you get it back together is basically the same thing but reverse so i showed y'all how to make sure you got the right two things they have to look like that like you see one with a little ball in the middle and one that's bigger that goes around the ball part so that's all you'd have to do to put it back together and you just got to make sure about that so whenever you're ready to put it back together you take you get your chain breaker and you put make sure y'all can see that and you put the link that's where the thing's about to go in between, in the middle of it, on there. And then you take the other side, and then you would put it right on there. Oh, man. Let's see, let's try, try it again. Just like that, you got to get it lined up. And then, oh, we need to screw this out some more almost lined up you gotta it's gotta be perfect or it won't it's not gonna go in hold that down let's see if we got it lined up enough for it to pop in yep and then once you got it lined up you just tighten it up and if y'all can see that uh pin is just going in and then you want to keep tightening it up until you see that pin just like, I mean like a hair sticking out and protruding over the edge. And then once you got that right, you just unscrew it and there you go. It's not going to break. You got your chain fixed and you're ready to ride. Now, of course, if you were doing this like for real on your bike and not just showing a tutorial how to do it, you need to... uh 
how I put it that one side under the chain under the uh, frame and then around you got to do it while it's on your bike you can't just do it out here and then go try to put it on if anybody was wondering about that so you do have to do it on your bike how I showed y'all in the beginning but I hope y'all was able to learn and I hope that helps y'all with um needing to learn how to um make your chain longer or shorter and to the one in particular person that was asking about this i really hope it helped you and everybody let me know if it helped y'all and what y'all want to know but for you in particular man please let me know if it uh if it helped you out and thanks for watching all right that was it for this video i hope that was helpful to y'all and i hope y'all was able to learn how to shorten and extend your bike chain Please let me know in the comments below if that was helpful to y'all and if y'all learned anything. Hope y'all did. And please let me know in the comments also more video ideas and what y'all want to see and what y'all need help with. And you can comment on any of my videos and I'll get to you as fast as I can to help you out with what I can and what I know. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.